It is official, I'm naming this literally the best cooler on EVTEC. Good afternoon morning and welcome to Turbo Tool to Tech. If you're new here, I'm Reese of the four piece variety of Wookiee Triple XL. And I've gotten the brand new Alice Farm 20 from Deep Cool, and it's very clever. And they've set it up really nicely. And it's honestly got one of the most attractive pump heads I've ever seen. But of course, we have to start off from the top. So it's a 240mm radiator, comes with two RGB fans, comes with a very clever daisy chaining system, and really, really nice package, complete with some of the best fittings you will find. The fitting quality, the production quality on this stuff is extremely high, and I really like this light industrial look and feel they've gone for. Even going as far as creating a cardboard sleeve for you to put the manuals and stuff in. Just really nice little touches like that from Deep Cool. The LS520 is basically a castle, except just done in a different way. The castle was made mostly, or that series was made mostly to be integrated with other deep cool products. And on that front, it's basically untouched with its fan controller and its RGB controller being quite large and splitting off into multiple other areas. This, however, has been made to integrate with pretty much any system you can imagine. And it keeps that castle infinity mirror set up over here on top with the pump but it also gives you some customization into it so before i get too ahead of myself though let's start off with the package content so you get all of the fittings which i've got on the screen for you now and it does have a back plate type design that then goes in from behind and you put some plastic garrets over the top which is what i'm generally used to using the ak400 as well it does the exact same thing it's all very cleverly put together the way they do it this one for instance as you can see has a quick release sort of setup so this plate goes onto your cpu and then it's two screws to be able to remove the towel cooler off of the top this makes my life very very easy as you can imagine when i'm testing multiple cpus then it's two screws and it's off and it's kind of the same here Albeit in this instance, there's nothing to retain it. So the plastic retainers do hold it sort of in place, but I would suggest maybe having another set of hands when you are doing the installation because they, they grip onto the actual metal prongs that are coming through, through those screws, but they don't really grip hard enough that it's gonna hold it in place. Um, if it is upright, if you do an upright installation, so if you have your machine upright, when you do that portion of the installation, then it should actually be a little bit easier. But that was about the extent of difficulties as far as the installation goes. There's nothing as well that's uh, uh, spring-loaded, which is a little bit of a concern. And something I really liked about the AK400 though, is that this is spring-loaded and you can often get some damage onto the actual pump face or onto the uh, base plate face of the cooler. The rest of the stuff is really nicely provisioned and set up. They've even got cable combs, which are pre-installed onto the pump cables and stuff, which just add that little extra touch of class to proceedings. I just love this pump head. It's incredibly good. Standard radiator setup with the anti-leak technology in this one as well, so that it's got a repressurization method in it. So if you are then using the machine actually to go, like if you're taking it around and you're shipping it from place to place, you need something that's water-cooled for whatever reason, gaming, you know, in different places, etc. Then you, that's some peace of mind there that the system repressurizes itself automatically. Something that I really like about these deep cool uh, setups and because it's repressuring itself constantly the chance for air to flow through the pump becomes that much lower the fans in the package are really really nice full rubberized corners not just actual rubber covering the whole corner is actually rubberized so there's going to be absolutely no rattle possible the sticker man also stuck the stickers really neatly and like nicely onto the thing so they are spinning you know, just 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 right like that you obviously get mountings as well for amd as well as intel you just need to check on the site that your chipset is compatible but it pretty much services everything even lj 2011-3 i think so yeah it's uh, checking all the all the right boxes but for those of us who are just running lga 1700 like this on the 12th gen or you're running an M4 platform, then it's going to be perfectly compatible with that. I know because I've used the AK400 on both platforms. Overall, I really like the look and feel of this product. This is probably one of the most attractive pump heads I've ever seen. It's also got the ability to rotate its logo on the fly sort of thing. And then you could get a custom plate in amongst the other kit. They give you another plate in order for you to be able to print your own or set up your own. And then you can orientate it 
or however you need to, you're not locked into the orientation of the pump for the orientation of that logo. Clever little things like that. And you know, this is why I really am enjoying Deep Cool as a product. I'm so glad it's at EvTech. I can't even explain to you because it's so good. It's super, super good stuff. And it doesn't break the bank compared to their competitors. It's like, well, it's really damn good. So the package is really nice. The way it's set up is good. The fittings are good. The daisy chain cable as well is a really clever idea. So everything daisy chains into one splitter at the end. So the fans daisy chain into each other. Well, the pump daisy chains into the fans, the daisy chains into the next fan that then runs into the motherboard. And that's where you can then connect your PWM header and your RGB header. The pump has its own connection, which I also like because then you can take that port that it's connected to and just max it to make sure that the pump is always at the full level. A lot of boards also have ARO pump headers right next to the pump over there and those by default generally send full power so that the pump is going at full chat as it should be and speaking of pumps that's a nice segue into performance because this thing's performance is astronomically good comparing it to the ak400 is somewhat unfair actually it's about 10 degrees better but if i looked at my castle results on the 12600k versus this they're almost exactly the same that's because this is pretty much the same package, just executed it in a different way. So with this, what they're trying to do is say, okay, we understand that you may not have a deep cool system, then use this because you can integrate this into any system and keep it really neat. The daisy chain system is so much better than having multiple cables. This is the way to do it. This is going to be the future of water cooling kits. And that pump is so damn good that it just, you don't really need fan curve. Even if you look at the max fan versus the just auto smart fan setup using the MSI center to do that, you'll notice that there's like almost no performance difference. That's actually a really good thing. It means that that pump is really good and yet you don't need fan curve to get good performance out of the units. So it's going to do what we always hope water cooling will do is stay silent. If you do max these fans out though, they do get particularly loud. If I was right up in its grill over there, it was 50 odd dB. That's like very, very audible. It was higher, higher 50s, like 57, 58. So very, very loud if you do max out the fans, but you really don't need to. The auto mode with this is absolutely perfect. Everything about this, this kit is like, I'm in love with it. I'm, I'm absolutely in love with it. Having used it, having it on the test bench, the way it looks, quality of the LED and the way that it's diffused and stuff is really good. You can see a little bit around the edge of the fan, but because of the performance and how quiet it is, how nice it looks, how easy it was to install and how good the fittings are, it already was like, oh, this is, this is amazing. And then I noticed that they did a daisy chain system for all the fans and headers, and then it just shot to the top of my list. This is absolutely the way to go. It's eliminating a lot of cables and mess inside of your system, and it makes troubleshooting a lot easier. It's going to be very direct if something is faulty or, or, or not sort of thing, you know, because it can only use one cable, it's very easy to identify where the break is in the chain. Very, very nasty setup. This is by far the best cooler you can buy for 2000 Rand. I've been a long time staunch supporter of uh, H100 and Corsair. And uh, basically over the last like four and a half years, it's pretty much all I've suggested if people were looking for water cooling stuff. But uh, especially where money was not really an issue. But if you look at my current H100R, you'll see because of how they did their mounting, it actually damaged the edges of the cooler and probably my chip a little bit as well. It also tends to bend the motherboard. And the problem with that was the, the screws and stuff were right on the edge. And that was a provided extra bracket because LJ1700 didn't have a bracket from Corsair. And it's not a huge change. And this motherboard as well has the LGA 1155 or 1150 uh, setups for or, or holes there as well. So it can be set up on the inside. I did it on the outside for the full LGA's thing because it's going to spread the force more evenly across the table. But the out of box performance of this cooler, the way that it's set up, the extras and stuff, it's just the best water cooler you can get. Now I am going to be doing the LE500 as well, which is quite similar. I did notice it had a different van, different pumps and stuff. So I was gonna do them together, but then after using this, I thought, no, this thing really does deserve its own video. But that is all I have for you in this review. If you have enjoyed it, please do hit us up with a like and subscribe, and I will see you on the flip side.